please. Yep. Can I? Yep. Yep. All oh, good. Okay. Thank you. So it was uh, four weeks ago today that uh, Cameron and I got the uh, phone call that no parent wants to receive, and as a result of that, we lost our Charlie. Um, we chose this spot today to uh, offer our thanks to people uh, because this is one of Charlie's favourite spots, the open skate park. I think he probably spent more time here than he did with us at home, um, but this is one of his favourite places. Uh, it's an understatement to say that uh, our family is overwhelmed uh, by the show of um, support that we've had from so many people, There's the flowers, uh, the cards, the generosity, the kindness, the company and the support uh, has truly been overwhelming and, and really touched us and made it that little bit easier for us to work through this process. Um, and that's not just from family and friends, it's from uh, work colleagues, uh, other people in the, the public sector that I work with regularly and more importantly uh, countless people that uh, we've never met and probably never will meet who have um, been so generous with their, their offer of support and kindness. Uh, it really has moved our family. In particular, uh, we would like to thank um, uh, the team at Flinders Medical Centre Intensive Critical Care Unit. Um, not only did they look after Charlie uh, over those couple of days, but they also looked after us and our family and were incredibly supportive to us, uh, particularly the um, organ donation uh, counsellor, uh, Bonnie, and she was exceptionally uh, caring and thoughtful and we'd like to thank her. The MedStar team and the first responders who uh, were at the scene are doing their very best to assist Charlie. Uh, we'll always be grateful. And uh, our safe whole family. Uh, having been a part of the organisation for 42 years and uh, with Emma by my side uh, during uh, my time as an executive, uh, the amount of support we've had from SAPOL um, uh, has been very special to us, uh, particularly um, Linda and Steve Williams. Uh, they were with us at the hospital and uh, they've ensured that uh, uh, my absence uh, uh, has been made possible and everyone's getting on with what they need to do within the organisation. I'd also like to thank uh, the team at Adelaide Oval for the way they enabled us to uh, send Charlie off. Uh, they bent over backwards to accommodate us and we're very grateful for that. It uh, made a very difficult time uh, quite special for us as well. I'd also like to mention on behalf of uh, the family the overwhelming uh, impact that uh, the donations to Operation Flinders Foundation has had. Um, honouring Charlie and some of the beautiful messages that have been left by people leaving those donations. Uh, I think at last count, uh, with the generous donation made by the state government, I think we're at about $173,000 raised in Charlie's name, which uh, I think will make a big difference to a lot of kids who are struggling to find their way in life. Um, there is simply no way for us to thank everyone personally. It's just not possible. As I said, uh, we're, I'm talking, we are talking about people that we've never met before. Um, and uh, it's really provided us a level of comfort that we didn't expect and it's given us the ability to um, work through this process as we try and figure out what a future looks like uh, without Charlie and I also want to uh, uh, just would like to acknowledge the Prime Minister for his words in Federal Parliament and particularly uh, the Leader of the, the Federal Opposition, uh, Peter Dutton, for reading Charlie's 101 letter uh, into Hansard something we ever expected, but I think it's, um, it's had a significant impact on why people think about the road time and uh, it has put a face to uh, what is normally just a, a statistic that will move past very quickly. And on that note, I'd like to thank uh, my friends in the media, um, the way you've um, reported on what happened to Charlie and the impact of his loss. Uh, has meant a lot to us. Uh, the sensitivity with which you've done that and the focus that you've put on all of those people who have lost their lives on South Australian roads, um, I think um, is, is quite significant and, and we are grateful for the way you've, you've done that. I'd also like to acknowledge the, uh, the State Police Minister, uh, Joe Sockarch, for his acknowledgement of Charlie in the State Parliament recently as well.
I'd like to uh, close on behalf of Emma and I by just reminding people that um, Charlie chose to be an organ donor and uh, he was able to assist uh, many other people uh, as a result of that generous uh, decision that he made when he got his driver's licence. And once again, we'd like to encourage people to uh, have that conversation with their loved ones about being organ donors uh, and appreciate that uh, in a time of tragedy, you can take some solace from the fact that someone you care deeply about has enabled other families to potentially avoid having to go through uh, a tragic loss. So uh, we encourage everybody to think about organ donation again. So that's, that's what we're here to do today, is just to make sure that people appreciate just how grateful we are for the level of support we've had from the South Australian community. Um, simply overwhelming, and we're very grateful for that. change clothes and come down here, meet his mates, and quite often come home well before, well after we've gone to bed, so uh, he was here a lot. Um, loved his skateboard, loved skating, loved being physical, um, and I'm sure anyone who regularly visits here to, to skate would know Charlie, and um, as, as much as it wasn't a place for us, it was certainly a place for Charlie. Okay, one more question. Yeah, yeah happy to touch on, obviously you're very much taken like Um, I had to be honest, uh, the, uh, my initial thoughts were that um, it would be a distraction to go back to work, but I don't think that's fair on, on the, the people in Sopol. Um, this is something that we need to, as I say, work through and figure out what, what our future looks like uh, going forward. Um, I haven't made any decisions about when I'll return, so I will be coming back. Okay, thanks, Thank you. Thanks, everyone.